Well, hello there, YouTube. Um, just wanted to stop in. I know it's been a while. Um, I was having a problem with my microphone on my camera, so I wasn't able to make uh, any videos with any sound. But um, I usually, I don't really use YouTube for a um, uh, a serious platform, or not. I don't want to say not a serious platform, but I don't typically use it for serious issues. Um, serious probably isn't the right word either, but um, personal. Let me let me put it like that. I usually don't use it for personal issues, but um, a couple months back, um, I had a really serious event happen in my life, and um, today I was supposed to be meeting with um, <clears throat> television station to do an interview, but we ended up having about um, over a foot of snow today, so it was rescheduled. And I started thinking about um, the fact that I'm all primed and ready for this interview, and I thought, you know what, uh, maybe I could share this with my YouTube friends because my reason for sharing it on television was to help other people, and um, I know that you guys have families and you have children and so I thought even though it's sort of personal in nature um, perhaps by sharing it with you I could um, help one of you so anyway <clears throat> uh, the topic of today's video is going to be a thing called WPW or Wolf's Parkinson's White and um, the easiest way to tell you guys about it is if anybody has heard about um, a child athlete um, running down a basketball court and as far as his family knew he was perfectly healthy and then he just drops dead and nobody understands why or you know um, a baseball player is playing and he hits a ball and starts running and falls down dead. Um, Typically, when those types of things happen, they are due to um, a disease called Wolf's Parkinson's White. And back in October, um, I think you guys have seen my son Taylor um, on other videos. I was, uh, it was the 17th, 18th of October, and um, I was getting ready to take him over to a friend's house, and he started telling me that his, uh, he that his heart was racing and then um, I told him to sit down relax you know he's perfectly healthy plays football uh, rollerblades ice skates you know um, go sledding um, there's nothing that he can't do um, he's not allergic to anything um, he's had all his immunizations and every doctor visit every physical um, so in any event I tell him to sit down take a couple deep breaths he'll be fine and um, a couple of minutes later, we're in the car, and he tells me that his heart is still is starting to go really fast. And I looked over, and I literally saw his heart spinning like a top out of his chest. And um, he was kind of like, you know, aching and moaning and saying his chest really hurt. And I knew it was serious because his heart was spinning like that. And so I proceeded to start taking him to the emergency room. And when we were on the way to uh, the emergency room, he just kind of um, seized up in the car and passed out. I thought he passed out. Um, in reality, what happened was he had a cardiac arrest and died. Um, so we get to the emergency room, and um, for all intents and purposes, he, he didn't have a heartbeat. And the nurse, uh, there happened to be a nurse walking by. Um, God is very good. And um, he felt that he had no heartbeat. And he grabbed him out of the car. And they proceeded to work on him for 30 minutes before they got a heartbeat. And then he was taken to pediatric ICU. And he was in ICU for 10 days where after an EKG, they discovered that he had Wolf's Parkinson's White. Um, Wolf's Parkinson's White is not that rare, um, but a full-blown cardiac arrest is rare. 
Um, typically, the types of symptoms that people... Um, oh, let me back up real quick. Um, don't want to keep you in suspense. He actually made a complete full recovery. Um, he had an operation um, while he was there. Um, he went through a couple different changes while we were in ICU, but um, he just completely bounced back. I mean, mentally, emotionally, physically, he's the same. You know, well, he's 14 now. He was 13 then, um, but he's the same kid he was before this happened. He has his entire memory back. Um, everything is perfect. But um, in any event, uh, typically the uh, um, symptoms our dizziness, lightheadedness, sometimes you'll feel like a little heart palpitation or um, you'll feel like your heart is racing really fast and um, then it stops uh, or you feel a little bit tired or you want to lay down and then it stops um, and uh, people can have Wolf Parkinson's white for their entire lives and never know but um, it's something like one out of every 150,000 have a full cardiac arrest and then there's even um, it's even less common than that for children to have a full cardiac arrest but it can happen um, the reason that I'm sharing this is because the only way to find out if someone has Wolf's Parkinson's white is on an EKG so you run an EKG you'll see the heart abnormality and um, then you can get the surgery and basically the surgery what it is is it's a I'm sorry that I'm kind of skipping back and forth but basically what it is is our heart has um, <clears throat> an upper lobe and a lower lobe and then we have a pathway from the upper to the lower that tells the heart to beat and to beat in a certain rhythm and what Wolf's Parkinson's white is is it's an extra connection at least one extra connection, maybe even more. Um, and um, so what they do to cure it is they just go inside the heart and they burn or freeze the extra pathway. So you only have the one connection like you're supposed to. So once you have the surgery, you're completely cured. <clears throat> so Taylor has had the surgery and he doesn't have to worry about it for the rest of his life. So my point, um, anyway, getting back to the EKG, that's the only way that you can find it, but you can find it and it will show up on an EKG. But most parents don't get children EKGs because it's not uh, standard, it's not required. Um, and for perfectly healthy children, you would never think to get an EKG. So um, I'm letting you know because uh, my sister um, was able to have her daughter as well as her child that she's pregnant with because even a baby inside of you, their heart, uh, you know, their heartbeat can be monitored. She was able to uh, ensure that neither of them have it. And then one of my really good friends has two daughters and she was able to take them to their pediatrician and make sure that they don't have it. So, um, because her children actually complain about, you know, their heart racing and feeling lightheaded and stuff like that a lot. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to share this story um, because it's important for people to know that um, you know this is out there and that there is a way you can find out if it's out there and it is curable. Um, so if you find it and um, you just know that it's um, you know easy to have it operated on and um, and then your child will be fine. So. Um, Anyway, I hope that this helps someone, and I have missed you guys. I have a couple other videos um, about straightening and some other questions that I got that I couldn't respond to because I didn't have uh, voice or a microphone for a while, um, but I'm back in action, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao.